Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to a surprise unboxing video. About six months ago, probably, maybe not that long. A while ago, I ordered, pre-ordered, the One Love Funko Pops. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing right now. So here's my box. And I got all three of them, obviously, because why wouldn't I? Oh my god, no screen. Okay, so first, let's start with Rovinder Kit. He looks amazing. He has a little, a little grimace on his face. He looks so cute. Guys, I don't even like Pops that much, but they're one love. Of course I had to get them. He looks great. I'm probably going to leave him in the box. I'm going to leave all three of them in the box and put them on a dedicated shelf that I'm eventually going to have for all of my Wundla stuff. So now let's look at Otto. Oh, he's so cute. He's the same dimensions, just sideways, which I thought, I thought he'd be like humongous, but he's not. He's so cute. Little Otto. And here is Eva9 and Migo. I gotta get her out, guys. Let's do a full unboxing, am I right? Hello. Oh, she's falling apart. Okay. So here's Eva and Migo. She looks amazing. The detail is really good. Still popify. There's a little bit of glue right there. That's okay though. She's not a bobblehead, but it's okay. The bobbleheads are kind of um, not as sturdy as I'd like them to be. But Migo is so cute. Look how cute he is. Hello. Yeah. Oh, her hair texture looks really good. Really, really close to the show. So Eva is number 1606, 1606, I don't know. Let's get Otto. Otto is 1608. Oh, he's soft. He looks great. He's not, um, he's not proportionate to the other characters, but that's okay. Oh, he looks so cute. If I was like a little kid, I would love to play with this. This would like be perfect for playing with as a little kid. And lastly, I have Rovinder, who is 1607. Rovinder is probably the most detailed out of all of them. With his, he has his backward bending legs, his backpack, his curled up staff, his, um, oh, what are they called? His nose, he has um, pores for his nose, his little ears. He looks really, hello, he looks really good. His little knife, oh. he kind of looks like a Jedi. Like, doesn't he look like a Jedi? That's crazy. So all in all, I think I spent about $38 to get all three of them. Not a bad deal. I also bought them at least two months ago. So basically I never even spent the money. You know what I mean? They're really dusty and Rovinder's box was already ripped. So I'm going to put these on my one list shelf. So I'm on the ground. I have to move some of my current items off of my one list shelf before I put my pops on the one list shelf. So I need to get rid of my TARDIS money bank, my little Daleks. They can just move right down here. This is my little TARDIS console that I made. It's a mini. It goes right there. And this is my TARDIS planter that Lee got me. It has a pothos in it. That will probably go on my new plant shelf, to be honest. Put it right here. Let's see. I'm thinking I'll put Rovi right here. What are you doing, Pumpkin? So this is what I'm working with right now. I got my first 10 books of the Oz series, Wicked and Son of a Witch, and then all three of my one the books. These two are my original ones. This one's my new copy because my mother lost my copy. And then I got Eva, Rovinder, and Otto. And then I've got my Spiderwick Chronicles books over here. 
that I got from my brother for Christmas. So that is what the one the shelf looks like right now. I kind of want to get a longer one that I will hang maybe right there, maybe somewhere else. I don't know. But I will update when that happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be my Maestro Makeup Transformation. So I'll see you guys then. Peace, y'all.